Today we'll be reading Knights of the Old Republic, Iridonian Darkness Part 3, A Star Wars RPG Adventure by Sterling Hershey. Part 3, Chapter 1, Fleet Action. After learning about Akadi's plot to board and sabotage the Republic capital ship, Champion of Iridonia, the heroes resolved to contact the Republic fleet and warn them of the impending attack. As soon as contact is made, they are ordered to fly to the Champion of Iridonia and report directly to Admiral Rokon. The Admiral figures that if he has force-wielding commandos aboard, he had better have some Jedi around to take care of it. Accompanied by Jirani Shah and Darak Tho, the heroes board a captured freighter from the hangar and quickly clear the atmosphere of the planet. As the Hammerhead-class cruiser Champion of Iridonia comes into view, they suddenly see a dozen Sith capital ships drop out of hyperspace beyond the Republic fleet. Within seconds, streams of fighters burst from both fleets, threading their way through an intense turbolaser barrage. Skillfully avoiding any Sith fighters, the heroes weave their way through the battle. As they approach the champion, turbolaser fire targeting the capital ship bounces them around. Deftly maneuvering their way out of the barrage, the heroes successfully board the Republic capital ship. Once on board, the heroes are immediately ordered to the bridge. As they leave the hangar, they see a Akadi's ship parked nearby, being thoroughly investigated by the champion's crew. They make their way to Admiral Rokon. The bridge is a scene of controlled chaos. A dozen crew members relay situation reports, damage assessments, and target assignments, while outside, the battle appears more intense by the minute. The champion shudders under a hail of turbolaser fire, and it's clear that the bridge has already taken at least one hit. A wounded Admiral Rokhan stands near the central command console, viewing what appear to be a number of security feeds. He motions for the heroes to join him. Looks like we found your commandos in an engineering subsection. Get down there and help security root them out before they do any real damage. I've got a battle to win. At that moment, they see Akadi turn to one of the cameras and say with a smile, I'm sorry, Admiral, but you're too late. As are your Jedi friends, again. He flips a switch on one of the computer stations, and suddenly, a burst of electrical energy erupts from every control panel on the bridge, including the one in front of Rokon. The arcing blue energy envelops the Admiral. The already wounded Admiral falls unconscious while the rest of the bridge crew is killed. The situation begins to spiral out of control. Most of the command staff has been killed, and nobody immediately knows who's next in line for command. Requests for orders come from various compartments and gunnery stations looking for targets. The bridge-controlled guns are now silent. A proximity alarm sounds after a minute or so, having detected a number of Sith shuttles approaching with the intent to board the Champion. Worst of all, cries of betrayal are coming over the comm system from allied ships as a few Republic capital ships suddenly declare their allegiance to Revan and defect to the Sith side. Part 3, Chapter 2, Showdown As the heroes scramble to save the ship, the Sith fleet mysteriously stops firing at the Champion of Iridonia. As the ship stops shaking from the turbolaser fire, red-armored Sith commandos suddenly appear at the doors to the bridge and immediately open fire. Akadi and his commandos attack the bridge in an attempt to seize the Champion of Iridonia for the Sith Empire. The Sith continue to enter through each door, overriding the locks and bypassing bridge security. A skirmish breaks out between the two groups. The heroes quickly find their attention divided between battling the commandos and trying to save the ship. One of the heroes begins issuing course corrections to the helm to avoid debris. Another uses the gunnery station to target incoming Sith boarding shuttles, while also issuing orders to Republic starfighters to attack these shuttles and provide support. Akadi is wearing an ill-fitting Republic naval lieutenant's uniform that is smeared with grease and slightly singed from nearby blaster fire. 
His whitish skin is covered in a complex pattern of black flowing tattoos of stylized knots and strands. The tattoos encircle the eight small horns on his bald head, and the intertwining pattern forms the suggestion of a mask across his piercing red eyes. His red-bladed lightsaber appears to have a similarly entwined black and white pattern inlaid in its hilt. Throughout combat, Akadi focuses on using force powers, only relying on his lightsaber when needed to fend off attacks or stray blaster bolts. Leaving the heroes to deal with the commandos on the ship, Jirani Shah and Darak Tho focus their efforts on fighting Akadi. As they battle, the Sith brags about how he's used what he learned from their traditions to corrupt Jedi and others across the galaxy. Suddenly, a Republic Navy lieutenant and a few Republic Army troopers arrive on the bridge, and the tide of battle begins to turn. The heroes call on Akadi to surrender, but he refuses and renews his attacks. Akadi's forces are quickly overwhelmed and subdued. Sensing that the battle is lost, Akadi attempts to flee, but he is struck down by Darak Tho's vibroaxe. The Drathos declares that Akadi will never again pervert the teachings of Lucasene or Kitael to corrupt others. After Akadi, the commandos, and the boarding shuttles are defeated, the heroes use the Champion of Iridonia to help repel the Sith raid. At this point, most of the Sith ships begin retreating into hyperspace. Having saved the Champion of Iridonia, the group is hailed as Heroes of the Republic and Iridonia itself. The Sith raid has been beaten back and the planet is safe, for the time being. But as the heroes know, the threat of Revan and his Sith fleet is still out there, and the future is uncertain. All they can do is trust in the will of the Force and remain in the light. I hope you've enjoyed this reading of Knights of the Old Republic, Iridonian Darkness, Part 3.